So here on the screen, I'm trying to find out the value of delta V. It's a very simple mathematics, not important from the examination point of view, but very important from the understanding point of view. So initially, let's assume the voltage present on bit line was nothing but VB. We know that in this entire mathematics, I'm going to represent C bit as CB and C cell as CC. Initial voltage on the bit line was VB. We know that Q is equal to CV. So we can easily write VB equal to Q by C. And this is the chart present on the bit line and this is the capacitance of the bit line. Similarly, for this cell also, we can write the initial voltage, cell voltage as VC. This was the initial voltage. And we can write as nothing to be but QC by CC, initial cell charge upon the value of the C cell. So when word line is equal to high, charge sharing will take place and will get the common voltage across my bit line and my node X, which is nothing but final voltage, which is as simple as QC plus QB upon CC plus CB. Initial charges upon the initial values of the capacitance. Now we want to find the change in voltage on bit line. We want to find delta V, correct? Because this is what is going to go to the sense amplifier. This is nothing but the initial voltage minus the final voltage on the bit line. So initial voltage on bit line was nothing but QB by CB, which I have written minus the final voltage, which I have got here. Final voltage is same on node X also and on bit line also. Now I've just done some mathematics. I've cross multiplied and divided by CB. I'm getting this as my term. And if I just rearrange the terms and substitute this equation one and two into that, I get my final delta V to be equal to C cell into VB minus VC upon CB plus CC. Now what is VB minus VC is a very interesting thing to understand. Initially, we make our bit line VDD by two for the read operation. So if it's a zero present at C cell, it is going to be VDD by two minus zero, or it could be VDD by two minus VDD because it could be a one. If it's a one, then this is nothing but a VDD. In both cases, the difference is going to be VDD by 2 in either case. So that is what I have put here. It's a difference. I'm ignoring the negative sign or a positive sign. I'm just putting the difference to be VDD by 2. So it's nothing but C cell upon CC is nothing but C cell upon CB, which is nothing but C bit plus C cell into VDD by 2. And if we put some standard values of C cell, which is nothing but 40 femtofarads and C bit as 1 picofarad and VDD by 2 as 2.5, presuming our VDD is 5 volts, we get our delta V is nothing but 100 millivolts. So we have to detect this small difference of 100 millivolts to the sense amplifier. In simple words, what this means is, if we are doing a read one, that means my bit line is going to be VDD by two initially plus delta V and that delta V, if VDD by two is 2.5, then this delta V is nothing but 100 millivolts. And if we are doing a read zero, Initially, the bit line is VDD by 2 minus delta V. It is nothing but 2.5 minus 100 millivolts. So this is 2.6 and this is nothing but 2.4. And this is what we need to detect this delta V difference to the sense amplifier, which we are going to see in the next clip. Hope you have followed the delta V value and you have also understood how the read operation takes place. Now we will go ahead and extend this to sense amplifier and see the final working. Stay tuned, take care, thank you very much.